Hi Aquarius! Happy March! So this reading is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Personally, I think your moon sign is going to resonate the best, so you don't have to ask me in the comments, although I love your questions and comments. Um, but I always, I feel like every month I always have to tell you guys that, so okay. <laughs> anyway, Aquarius, here's what this reading is going to tell you about. It's going to be the general feeling overall, like the challenges you're going to face in March, the vibes you're putting out, and then we're going to look specifically at all of those things in finance, in your love life, whether you're sick, single or coupled, and then we're going to look at your um, emotions, like or your personal development, and then I'm going to give you a crystal of the month. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Aquarius. What's your general feeling overall? So they're saying this is a hard work month. You're working hard. But you're also enthused and you're excited and you have this like joyful like anything is possible kind of an attitude. So that's good. What kind of challenges will you be facing that you're um, not getting enough rest unfortunately and so that would be important because you're more productive if you're actually um, getting adequate sleep. So the goal for you is to be very um, attentive to details and things. Um, this seems like a very work-focused month so far as we're starting the, re the reading. And it doesn't necessarily mean in your career. Maybe you're unemployed. Maybe you're retired. Um, it could be just work on your friendships, or it could be work on your relationships. But I guess we'll see that as um, the reading progresses. So what is your general advice in the month of March, uh, Aquarius? And they're saying something's out of balance in your life. It's probably your sleep, obviously. Um, so do whatever you have to in order to correct it. And so it seems to me with these kind of cards here, you have passion and drive and enthusiasm, which is helping you to work really hard to not give up on something um, right before you start to see success. And you're being very detail-oriented, but it is wearing you out a little bit. And so there's a little bit of an imbalance there. Like the enthusiasm is so good, but it's also hurting you in a little bit bit of a way okay so in regards to your finances what do I see for you in March and they're saying um, well there's really not that much that they want to talk about with you <laughs> they say that things are gonna change and you're gonna feel um, a, like more balanced it, this month might be kind of challenging which is why they just don't want to talk about it because it's not like a curse it's not like um, bad juju it just is it's just the circumstance you know and so um, What's something that you can think about to help you move through this energy or like what is the lesson here? And they're saying um, figuring out what it is that you're supposed to do and I think that's why they don't necessarily have so much to say about it because you have this motivation, you have this inspiration, um, whether that's for like a project at work, maybe that's starting a new business, whatever that is, you have it. It's just a matter of waiting for the results to pay off. And so your guidance in regards to that is... Um, Expressing yourself through music is going to be really, really ha um, helpful. It will help you um, to either dance, to like sing at the top of your lo lungs as you're driving to work, things like that to kind of just release any energy that's a little bit fucked up and maybe blocking you from the things that um, are good that you need, okay? In regards to your love life, if you are a single Aquarius, what's up in March? And they're saying... You're being really honest with yourself and with other people, although um, there are some things or some people, some ideas that need to shift, that you need to move away from, but you haven't yet, okay? So if you haven't seen the Chords of Attachment video, um, there's a link in the description box below. That'll really help you to, you can, it was designed actually in order to help you get it over next, okay? But you can also use it to help you get over different thought patterns. You can use it for really anything that's uh, kind of self-sabotaging. <laughs> okay, so what are your challenges for single Aquarius and trying to bring love in in the month of March? And they're saying it's that work-life balance. It's that you're not viewing other people as necessarily, you're, or you're just maybe not meeting people who have the same drive as you, who want the same things as you. So how can you 
put yourself in a position to meet people who are more like-minded. And they say just having that faith and optimism that they do exist. Okay, that's huge. Having that trust, like leaning into um, trusting the universe to your spirit guides, to your angels, that that person does exist and they will show up in the right time, in the right moment. They're saying like, you, since you have your shit so much together, you will welcome somebody in who also is like-minded, who has that. And so it's just a matter of finding it. And as I'm doing this reading, it's 11 a.m. It's 11.22 a.m., okay? So it's like make your wish, and then that stability and that harmony with the 22 will come for you. And it's a promise from spirit because 11 is about your wishes. 22 is about harmony, peace, love, balance. It's kind of like... um. For those of you who know about crystals, it's like the rose quartz energy, okay? Um, so all of these things will come in for you, all right? But um, then the bonus is 22 plus 11 is a 33. Now, a lot of people make a mistake in numerology and they add the 3 to 3 and they get a 6, which is about balance and yeah, whatever. Good. Um, balance is definitely needed. That would be a message. But 33 is a number that you don't reduce. And this is because it is a very spiritual number. It's a number of ascended masters like Jesus, the Buddha, like the prophet Muhammad, like all of these things, okay? Now, those that 33 number is a very spiritual like promise, okay? So not only is spirit promising you, single Aquarius, that you can have what you want, that it can be peaceful and balanced and harmonious, but they're almost like guaranteeing it will come. You just have to trust them. You just have to lean into that trust. You just have to believe with that full energy that anything and it completely everything is possible. All right? So this is an excellent month for manifestation if you can truly believe that you will get what you're asking for in regards to love. Now, what's up for couple Aquarius in March? And they're saying the give and take is a little bit fucked up. I don't know if it's that you're not giving enough time and energy to your partner, maybe because you're worried about um, all, you know, maybe you're really following through with that enthusiasm um, in a different sector of your life, or maybe you're not receiving enough. This will vary. That's the problem with like a general reading as opposed to doing a private one. But um, what they're saying is pay, paying attention to detail is very important in your relationship this month. They're saying like being super honest and communicative is going to be very important for your relationship this month, but especially those details. Because what basically what they want you to do is think about the past experiences you've had with your partner and praise them for the ones that are positive, okay? Um, this is going to be one of those months where you have to say, you know what, remember when we blah, 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 and that was the moment that I really fell in love with you. Or you know how you used to always do this and like now sometimes you do that still and it makes me feel really special. Those are the kind of things you need to do. So they're saying um, you won't be disappointed if you follow this guidance. Now the challenge in your relationship in the month of March is um, letting go of fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Like I'm not going to focus on my fears. And I wish, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Because that kind of popped up for me here. Um, and I didn't mention it because it seems so positive saying you're not going to be disappointed. But there is that fear element, like a little bit of seeking suspicion, like something's creeping in the bushes, right? When we're focused on all these beautiful, positive things from the past, like you're a little bit worried because of the past of something. And they're like, let that go. You really have to let it go and just focus on the positive things in the relationship. Because when we give a lot of praise for the things that are working, our partner's more inclined to continue to do those things that are working because they're getting something from um, doing that as opposed to not feeling appreciated, right? And so they're saying, you have to, you're being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. So the more that you are taking the lead in your relationship to do this, to really praise the positive, your partner's going to learn from that. And they're going to recognize like, wow, that makes me feel really great. Now I want to give that back to my partner. And you both benefit from it, right? So good for you. Okay. Now in regards to your emotional health or your personal development in the month of March, how will you be feeling? And they say like you haven't maybe put everything that you need to in the past. Um, that fear, that suspicion, a little bit of paranoia, you got to let it go. And so they're saying big changes will come and you will t entirely shift your perspective and blessings will come from that if you can release it. So what are the challenges in releasing that fear? And they're saying envy. Envy, that's huge. Now, I want to mention for you guys, um, 
a, a solar plexus chakra meditation might be really helpful for you in the month of March because a lot of this is about feeling powerless, okay? So a lot of this fear that we're generating that we can't control things. And it's not that you want to control things, but it's like this powerless energy of like things happen and I can't control them and it fucking sucks and it hurts. And oh my God, somebody feels like shit right now and I am crying on the inside for you. Oh my gosh. So anyway, but a lot of that is coming from envy, okay? So when we are trying to manifest good things into our lives, um, sometimes, you know, like we'll be looking, you might be scrolling through your Facebook, right? And remember that we are looking at other people's highlights, like not their real life. They're not posting their shit. And if they are, we're not following them because it makes us feel like shit. It makes us feel negative. Like, oh, I hate that person. They're so annoying. Um, so anyway, we're looking at their good news, right? And maybe um, you see that so-and-so's husband um, buys them jewelry. And instead of being like, oh, how sweet. I'm so happy for them. I love that that happened. You're like, oh my gosh, my partner doesn't buy me jewelry. Or, oh my gosh, like... She's so whatever because she's bragging about it online. Like those negative feelings, they don't serve you. They don't hurt the other person. They hurt you. They make you feel like shit. So get over it. What you need to do is when you see things that maybe you would typically be envious over, you need to feel love for it as if you had it. So you're attracting it. So you're drawing it in. That's the lesson that you're learning in March. Um, they're saying this is a time, this is a very auspicious time for you to attract the things that you want. The ladybug represents good luck, good fortune, abundance. But so if we have, if we're carrying that envy energy, we're blocking it. We're not able to receive that. Okay. We're not, we're not feeling like we deserve it. And so then you, you can make or break this month really is what this is saying. This, and oh my gosh, I'm getting like goosebumps now. So this is very, um, this is really true. For at least one of you, where really wonderful things are trying to come into you, but you're almost like throwing things up like, oh, I don't like that. You know, I don't like it when people get gifts. I don't like it when people get sweet things, you know, when people are thoughtful and loving to each other. I don't like that, so I don't want it. That's the message you're sending. That's the vibration you're putting out. And so they're saying, like, naturally, this is a very good time, astrologically or, or whatever the fuck, vibrationally to receive abundance. The universe is trying to give you something really great. So keep your energy in check. Be vibrating at love or above so that you're bringing in all this stuff in because you're only hurting yourself if you're being envious, okay? You have to be willing and open to receive all these good things in life. So there's that. Okay, so moving on to your crystal of the month, I've got Celestine for you. Isn't it beautiful? This is like my favorite stone. So this one is basically good for everything, especially in regards to your health. Just like it fucking heals everything. Um, but it calls in a lot of angels, okay? And so what this does is it brings a lot of peace, harmony, healing, joy. It's a very psychic stone. There's like pretty much nothing that this stone can't do. Um, so you can head over to your crystal store and get one if you want. This specific stone that I pulled for Aquarius um, in my hands is available on my website. Um, with it, you get a uh, private video list, like a playlist, um, telling you how to use different crystals and how like you can, different techniques and things that you can do in order to make your crystals work for you to help you heal and um, to inspire you to draw in luck and that kind of thing. And then um, you'll also get like a printout saying which angels are associated to it, how you can care for your crystals, um, what the specific properties of it are, like what it does for you on a health level as well as an emotional, psychic, or spiritual level. And that's all I really want to say about that. So you can check it out if you want. If not, no pressure. Otherwise, see you soon for your love readings. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!